y'all. So a while back, I got this ad for this Touch Me by Playtronica, which is pretty much a mini player using touch or anything conductive. And this was the ad that pretty much captured my eye where you can connect it and having two people touching and pretty much it becomes kind of like a synthesizer where you can play music. But I was curious of using this device of making visuals rather than sound. So I will show you a little tutorial where I got this device. Here's an alligator clamp connected to a mason jar of water. And back in touch designer, on one side, the camera so you can see this water. And as I touch the water, it can affect this visual. And also you can see on the device, as it's touching it, it the different channels, the lights changes. So the pretty simple straightforward tutorial, it's pretty much works as a MIDI player, but um, I thought to share this so you can also, if you have this device, can make some fun little visuals. I'll start with the clean network. I put the water on the side just so I won't get water all over my keyboard and my hands are a little bit cold from all the water. Um, so I'll first close the palette and delete everything. I'll have two base comps. One of them I'll house all the data with or the MIDI touch me. So I'll just call this MIDI. And then on another base, I'll call this the visuals where I will house the visuals. So first I'll go inside this base comp. And the base comp, so as I said, this is pretty much works as a MIDI. So as, once I'm connected to the computer, I'll add a MIDI chop. And you see here it has a error or a warning. So if I go to the MIDI device mapper and dialogues. Open this up, I'll create a new mapping. And over here, I'll choose touch me and in device. And I'll just put touch me. And now if I touch it, all these new channels pop up. So I'm gonna just keep on touching a bunch and there's so many channels, so many channels. Ooh. And I'll just kind of rename them because right now it just starts with 63 and it just keeps going. So I'll add a rename chop. And I'll just name it from 2chan brackets 1 to 40. So now it'll name it from Chan 1 to 27 down. And I will add a null. So now if it's more channels, it'll be naming from 1 down. And from here, so since this device, I guess, is usually used for music, it would usually uh, it would trigger a toggle zero to one to trigger a sound. But since I want to use it for visuals, usually if, for example, I wanted to trigger a, a noise amplitude or a uh, to trigger a um, color, I don't want it to be from one uh, number to another toggling it back forth. I kind of want it to go in a range. So I will add a lag chop for this. And lag chop, I'll change the lag from zero to 0.5. And now if you see, it doesn't just go from zero to one, but goes into more filters into a range. So better to show this, I can add a trail chop. Put this after this. This you're active by right click. I'll make this graph all into one channel so I can see this better. Copy this 
to another one. I'll connect this lag one over here, have it next to each other. So you can see how difference of these two. So one would just go from zero to one, and here it has a little bit more of a ramp, which I like. And from here, I can start making the visuals. So here in the visual base, I will start making my visuals. I'll start adding with a visual ramp. And the ramp over here, I'll change the resolution to be 1280 by 720. You can make it any size you want. And I'll change the type to uh, radial and the period to 0.1. And I want it to move, so I'll have it to be abs time dot seconds. And I want to fourth the speed, so times 0.25. Great. And I'll change the color. You can have it to any color you want, but I'll make it into this dark blue. And the middle will have this sky blue color. Nice. I'll call it a null after this. Call it out. And the displays bug so it can just be in the background so it can see what we're doing here. And I don't like the lines to be so straight, so I will displace it with the noise. I'm going to displace. Displace where you are. Let's just see what will happen if we just directly add this noise over here. It's a bit crazy. Um, this noise, I'll change the resolution so it's the same size as this one. So 1280 by 720. And I'll lower this displace weight to 0.1. And I'll change this noise, some of these parameters. I'll change the period to be 0.4, harmonics to be 3, harmonic spread lower to 0.5, and I'll have the the touch me device later to, uh, to control the harmonic gain, exponent, and amplitude. But for now, I'll just put this to 0.5, 122, and 0.13. So cool, start seeing something interesting, but you can see the resolution is a bit um, not perfect on this. So I'll just in the ramp, change this to 16 bit float and also this noise to 16 bit float and it kind of gets rid of this aliasing. Um, after this, I'll add a noise, not a noise, uh, a blur. I'll increase this blur, not this much, but maybe like two or two, filter size seven, great. And after this place, I'll add a edge. Edge, I'll have the strength to be about like three. And after this place, I'll add another displace. I'll connect pipe it to the first input and the second input. This into out, and I'll change the displace weight to 0 0.1 and 0.1. Awesome. And now, pause it from this edge with this displace. Pipe it here, do the null. I'll change the operation to brightest. So as this edge changes over this, I'll add a feedback to this, but rather building a feedback from scratch, I'll get the tool from the feedback palette over here. I'll lower the opacity a bit. Let me change this to add a little look. Ooh, it's very bright. That's not so bad. And I'll finally add a HSV adjust. So later the 
the the touch me device can also change the offset of this. So great. The visual set. Oh, I'll split my plane and go to the MIDI. You see over here, I have all these channels and I just wanted to control five different things, which is the noise gain, the harmonic gain, the amplitude, exponent, the edge, and the color. So I don't need all these channels. And as you adjust your hands, it would be different channels. So I wanted to combine some of these channels into five outputs. So I will add a select chop. After select, I'll add a mount. And I know I'm gonna merge five of these, so I'll add a merge after this. And connect this to out. And I'll just copy and paste this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And all these math, I'll connect it with this merge. And from here, I will combine some of these channels. Um, so if there, right now there's 38 channels. 38 channels could be like seven channels each, or I'll just have it to be each one to be five channels, just so it's a little bit easier math. So chan one, two, five. And I will call it, rename this to be um, this to harmonic. I shall have this be a noise. Yeah. And then I will have this be chan six to fifteen. And this be called uh harmonic for harmonic gain. And notice right now only it changed the first one, but since we're going to combine them all, does all these five is going to take the first the first channel's name later on. So it's, it'll be okay. And then I want this to be and 16 to 20. And this will be called exponent or exponent. And this will be five. Call this edge. And finally, chan six to thirty. Close bracket, and I'll name this to be color for the HSV adjust. I'll select all of these and I'll change this combined channel to add. So now they're split to five different channels. And as I touch these, they move into these five different channels. Great. So now I'll change the range for these. And you can play around with the different ranges, but what I have. So this amplitude, I had the range to be 0.13 to 0.3. The harmonic, I had it for range to be 1.5 to 3. 5 to 3. That'll change this to 2. Let's make this big. X. <laughs> For the harmonic uh, exponent, the range to be 1.22 to 0.4. Uh, check, x.22 to 0.4. Perfect, perfect. And edge, I want it to be, let's do 0 to 3. And the color, H, the hue offset, I'll have it to be 0 to 100. So, all labeled perfectly here. 
And then I can just directly pull this from for each uh, hue of offset for the edge. Right. Then the noise. Let's combine twice here. Connect this. Noise. Amplitude. Harmonic gain. Exponent. So let's test at the device. Allocating. Now, if I hold on one side and I play, let's see what's wrong with the color. It just doesn't get any of the channels. So, what if I make this range bigger to all the way to 38? Then it gets something. So, this is a quick tutorial. You can play around with some of these ranges or slow down the lag, play drag onto different parameters, and you don't have to just use water. You can connect it to fruits, bananas work great, or even to plants, you can stick in soil if the plant has enough water content. It also works and play around with it. And if you enjoy this tutorial, please leave a comment. And if you want to see anything in the future with the other Playtronica device using um, multiple MIDI controllers um, using this to create different projects, uh, please let me know. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're serious about taking your touch designer and interactive skills to the next level, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. It's the only educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer and interactive professionals. You can learn more by checking out the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon for more awesome free content.